Hi and welcome to Moms on a Mission. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Um, I want to talk to you today. I know I've been making videos talking about the coronavirus, um, but that's just one of the big things that's plagued the entire world. And uh, we're dealing with some things right now that we've actually never dealt with um, in, well, basically history. I mean, this is worldwide there's all kinds of craziness going on um, around the coronavirus and uh, now that more and more tests are available there's more and more cases being documented and uh, I was standing outside a couple of days ago and um, I had the dog out in the yard and I was just kind of looking around uh, there was kids playing in the street there was people you know out talking with each other, um, just doing daily outdoor things, doing their yard work. And I just stood there and it just hit me like a ton of bricks that this coronavirus has spread like wildfire around the entire world. There's been plagues of locusts eating the crops in Africa and over in the Middle East. Um, we have had just tons of earthquakes. We've had volcanoes that have been super active. You know, there's been the hurricanes that are literally like just wiping out entire islands. And a lot of historic events, uh, the wildfires in Australia. Um, and there's some things that don't even make the news because there's so much happening all around the world. You have to literally go on the internet and uh, look up the weather events in places around the world. And if you do that, I mean, you will just be kind of taken back by um, how much is happening. So with that being said, I was looking around and I just, and I realized that there's so many people that don't understand what is happening. They don't believe in Jesus or they don't have, um, his spirit and dwelling inside of them they're not saved and they don't understand that he is coming soon Jesus Yeshua our Lord and Savior is coming very very soon these things that are happening around the world these are the things that he told us that we need to um, when we see these things happening we need to look up because our redemption draws near he is coming back this his second coming he's coming <clears throat> and I just thought you know what this is just like in the days of Noah everyone thought he was crazy he built the ark and as soon as he got on the ark and the Lord closed up that door and sealed him and his family and the animals in the flood came the people didn't expect it they were not prepared they did not believe and the flood swept them away all of them and so I just want to read this scripture it's so important for us as Christians right now to share the gospel of Jesus Christ because the time is running out. And I want to go to Matthew. This is 24, verse 32 through 39. And this is Jesus speaking. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors. And of course, he is speaking of his second coming. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. And he wasn't speaking of their generation when he was speaking to the apostles or the people there um, in that day. He was speaking of the generation that sees these signs um, of his second coming or the approaching of that. Um, heaven and earth will pass away but my words will by no means pass away but of that day and hour no one knows not even the angels of heaven but my father only uh, but as the days of Noah were so also will the coming of the Son of Man be for as in the days before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away so also will the coming of the Son of Man be so they were just going on with their lives um, 
And we see that today. We see people just going on with their lives and they don't understand that Jesus is at the door, uh, that he is near, that he is coming soon. So please, body of Christ, um, this is not the time to hold back your faith in Jesus Christ. This is the time to be sharing the gospel. People are dying. When Jesus returns, there won't be another chance for those that are not in Christ Jesus. We need to share the gospel message of Jesus Christ and what he did on that cross for our sins and how he was raised from the dead to conquer death in the grave um, and how he gave us eternal life and, and he can come and live inside of us, his Holy Spirit, and we can be sealed until the day of redemption, which is coming very soon. His return is coming so soon. I hope you have a blessed day, and I hope that you really think about this. Um, you know, whenever you're out and about and you're encountering people, not too closely, of course, because we don't want to get sick, <laughs> um, but we do put our faith in, uh, in God and Jesus Christ to um, keep us safe and secure and well. So, anyways, um, God willing, I'll see you, you know, tomorrow or the day after that, and I hope that you have a blessed day considering the circumstances of what's going on right now. Uh, may the peace of our Lord be with you, and may he give you strength and boldness to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Shalom. See you next time. Bye.